I think when you're learning to juggle, in some ways it's a bit like learning to meditate. It's quite sort of overwhelming. You don't really know how to do it. You have an idea maybe of how to do it, but you don't really know how to do it. And the same is true of meditation. There's often lots of preconceptions and misconceptions, but there's something really nice about learning a new skill. One in breath and one out breath, that's enough to begin with. And in the same way, when we're beginning to juggle or when we're learning to juggle, just one ball is enough. In fact, one ball is essential. Unless you can throw one ball with a sense of ease, a sense of flow, a sense of relaxation and focus, then the whole juggle will fall apart. You kind of create a foundation that you can then build on. So we then move on to sort of two balls. We tend to sort of throw one ball in the air and then quickly pass the other one from one hand to the next. It's a good two-ball juggle. To progress to three ball, we need to find a, a slightly different rhythm. One, two. One, two. So we throw from one hand up towards our shoulder on the other side, and then we throw from our other hand up to the other shoulder. So it kind of creates an X in front of us, a cross. There's simply a release, another release, and another, and another. If you can do that and find a steady rhythm, then that is the path to three. You begin with the hand with two balls in it. You throw one ball up. Before you catch it, you throw the second ball up. You catch the first ball, you release the third ball, and you then catch the second ball. And that is a complete juggle. So as you can see, there's something very similar in the learning of, of juggling, meditation, and all these other skills as well. There's simply this idea of practicing and cultivating and refining the skill over time. Ha, ha, ha.